Hey guys, Jimmy God here, and today I'm going to be showing you the dandy animated hip-hop Valentine's Day Rhino. I remember seeing this at Rite Aid way back when it was released in 2008, 16 years ago. And as you might have guessed, because of age, the original 10-tooth gear in this guy did split when I got him. Uh, the seller even said in the listing that this guy did sing, but he didn't move. So I knew what that meant. So when I got him, first thing I did was open him up, replace the split 10 tooth gear with a brand new one, put it back together, and here he sits. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, there's really not much that I have to say about this guy, but, uh, there are actually three rapping Valentine's Day characters that Dandy sold to Rite Aid for the 2008 season. This was one of them. I reviewed the dog earlier, and honestly, I didn't even know they made a dog version until that one I saw on eBay, um, a couple years ago, and thankfully bought. And, uh, that one's still with me. It's in good hands, so no need to worry about that. And the gorilla, which sings Wild Thing, which, to my knowledge, seems to be the most common of the three. Um, and that's not saying much, because, uh, you know, dandy items that were sold at Rite Aid tend to be somewhat uncommon to a degree. So, I'd imagine that you guys wouldn't have expected to see or even knew this guy existed. Because there was, like, very little to no footage. Honestly, there's only, like, two videos featuring this guy. One in a compilation of, uh... Valentine's Day anime plush that was sold at Rite Aid back in the day, most of which was, in fact, Dandy items. And the other video basically had him in the focus, but it was pretty pretty heavily edited because it, like, skipped past the song. It didn't play the whole song in its entirety. And the title of that video made the obvious mistake of it being a hippo when it's obviously a rhinoceros. But, uh, um, that, that error actually has been cleared up in that video right now. So it says, this rhino can sing, not a hippo. So here's another video of this guy, fully working like he did all those years ago, standing in his original box, um, no issues to speak of. So with that being said, he swings and sways as he belts out a rap and remix of Let Me Call You Sweetheart, which is actually a public domain song, as you'll see in a little bit once we get to the box and tags. But anyways, here he is in action. Really cool character. Absolutely really cool character. But anyways, here's the uh, tag. It says, Try me. I sing and dance. Let me call you sweetheart for ages four and up. And on the back it reads, Warning. For safety's sake, remove all the plastic tag holders. These are not part of the item. See? No copyright information on the song. So that proves that Let Me Call You Sweetheart is in fact public domain. Even Joe P said in one of his videos. I think it was the... Uh, Video sh he showed of that, um, Jemmy prototype dancing flowers. And by the way, actually, um, a sample of that actually recently, um, surfaced on eBay from the one and only Grandstand. Not sure who bought it, but I'm, I'm sure it's in good hands. Really hope so. But anyways, distributed by Rite Aid Corp, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, 17105, made in China. <laughs> Here's the up-close look at the, uh, overall details. There's the eyes that, uh, Dandy has used on several of their classic items. Little, uh, I used to think they were pop-out eyes because, you know, the eyes kind of look like they are popping out to a degree, but it's still a nice design. The big teeth he's got. And, you know, despite being a hip-hop character, the clothes he wears, uh, the, mainly the vest, kind of look more like disco clothes rather than hip-hop clothes, but that's probably just me. Alright, and then there's the black pants with the heart pattern on it. Kind of uh, reminiscent of the uh, classic heart pattern fabric that Jemmy would use. Obviously different. Singing, animated friends, for ages four and up, try me, light up, warning, choking hazard. Sold for 20 bucks in 2008. Singing, animated friends. Singing, animated friends. Singing, animated friends. Here's the bottom of the box. With the battery instructions. Battery replacement. Distributed by Rite Aid Corp, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Made in China. This is item number 975985. 
Um, and then it's got other items right there. Um, 47475 and then 13920. Alright. Side of the character. Here's the tag. It reads Dan D. And the battery compartment is located um, on the back under the shirt. Other side. So now that I got the Rhino, I might as well get the Gorilla is what you're probably going to say. And I, I probably will, but honestly, the Gorilla of the three hip-hop characters interests me the least. Because uh, I'm not really the biggest fan of, of realistically designed anime push. I'm more of a cartoon guy. Um, it's what I'm best known for, um, aside from animatronics, obviously. And it's what I've stuck with my whole life. So, uh, but I, but that's not to say that I hate those things. I've got quite a few of, um, I've got quite a number of animated plush that have, uh, realistic eyes. So it's not like I hate them. It's just, um, if I were in charge, um, there would definitely be more cartoony designed animated plush out there. Just saying. But, whether or not I'll get the rapping gorilla to go with the rhino and dog, time will tell on that one. But anyways, here he is in action again. And there you go, guys. That's the Dandy Animated Hip Hop Valentine's Day Rhino. Honestly, if I had to rank them um, from first to third place, I'd have to say the dog easily takes first place, the rhino would take second, and the gorilla would take third. Thanks for watching.